Robin? Okay, Jennifer, let's see your exercise. Do it. Jenny, do your knee exercise. Come on. Jennifer, do it. Does he need a sweater or something? Get in there, Mommy. Sit down for a second. You get a nice, tight family grouping. He's eating breakfast now. This is his favorite breakfast. Yeah, he got up late. Well, he got up, what, at 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock? 1 o'clock. No, he didn't. He got up at um, 3. 3? And then he got up at 7. Well, he, how many times did he cry, though? Twice. Well, he cried about half a dozen times. No. Yeah. Well, he cried a lot at 7 because... I gave him a bottle and I thought it was apple juice and it was water. <laughs> which he doesn't like to drink just plain water. So, so we were up quite many more times than that. Two times. We were up more than that. Okay. And now we're gonna go see the flower shop. And what's the name of the flower shop? Queen City Queen City Florist. Queen City Florist. What did you say, Anders? No, it's okay. I said my goodness. My goodness, what? We're going to go there. He's like so excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous too. So excited. Yeah, you should be nervous. This is a big step. Yeah. 319 Felicity. Karen and Anders have the downstairs apartment. That's That doorway to the left leads to the upper apartment, to the owners. But that's a nice green porch behind them. And that's where the hibachi goes. Well, Michael, today is a big day for you. What do you think about being 30 years old? Well, I've waited for 30 years for this day. Yeah. And I'm glad it's finally here. I have uh, high hopes for the future in Israel. Looking forward to celebrating this day with you and all who encompass my path. I'm grateful to be 30. Thank you. And um, what, what are you going to do regarding Ava? What happens next with Ava? Well, only time will tell. Is, is there a master plan? You said she's going back to Canada? Ava's planning on moving back to Canada, Montreal, near her folks, attend McGill University yeah. in September. And then perhaps she'll visit me, depending upon whether or not I'm engaged to be married <laughs> to a Sam Sabra. Sabra, Israeli, yeah. Sabra, Israeli native. So we'll see. And uh, give me a little bit about the six months you're going to be in a kibbutz, and after that, what happens? Do you know yet? Five months in a kibbutz, studying Hebrew and working on the land or in the hotel environment. I guess the industry involved in Ramat Rachel is tourism. I'm not sure what I'll be doing, but I'll be working half the time and studying half the time. And then Depending upon how I feel in Jerusalem, I'll either stay in Jerusalem or move to Tel Aviv where there's probably more active music scene, more city life, which I'm used to having lived in New York City, or move to Haifa, which was gorgeous as you know. We spent some time there. That was quite beautiful. Well, it's great being here with all the Matthews and the Franks and um, beautiful sunny day. This is sort of a birthday goodbye party for Michael. How do you feel about that? I'm going to miss him. Might have to go running after him in Israel. And um, it's really great being here. And, and why are you moving back to Canada? What is the process behind that? Uh, partly because I'm sick of New York. And it's a good time to leave. With Michael leaving New York, it makes it easier for me to leave also. I don't feel as I'm leaving anything behind hang out with my family for a little bit. I haven't seen them for a while. Live with them, go to school. This yeah, way... Tell me a little about what are you going to take in school? I'm going to get some sort of certification for teaching, education. Probably won't be my master's. Probably have to do another bachelor. And um, take courses that I took in college but didn't enjoy because I was too busy carousing and having a good time. This time I'll really study. 
and uh, get something going. And this way, if and when I do go to Israel, I'll have had some time with my family. Sure. That was a big smile, Karen. Nice smile. Ava, Ava just gave me a little wave here too, a little speech, Michael. The Jolly Giant here. Some kicks and scenes here, eh? Oh, Big party. Give us a wave, Mandy. Come on. Doing such a good job cutting the meat up. Which one's the big one here? One of these is about a half the size again, bigger than the other. Which one is the big one? Is that the big guy? <laughs> Michael! Michael's going to take this to Israel. So now I'm, you're on. Now start saying something. What do you think about life? I love life. I love everybody in it, even the robbers and everything like that. Uh, I'm sorry whoever dies, you know, and stuff like that. Um, uh, happy birthday, Mike. Uh, I like the fourth grade. I think it gives you, me an um, ability in life. As my teacher says, they spoon feed me. She tells me all about what they're going to do in high school. She has a former student come in. My, my teacher's name is Mrs. Galbraith. And uh, to keep peace on earth and everything. And what are you going to do for sports next? What is your sporting uh, activities going to be? Hi, Tyler. Um, hey, Ham, get out of the road. I like soccer. I think you guys will too because it's just a fun sport to play. Kickball too. Um, Tyler plays soccer with me. He's my little brother. These are my two little brothers. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> all my family helped me with soccer. And, and Benjamin wants to show you how to walk. Hey, uh, He's doing good. Are those his first hey, steps? Man. He it's took three steps back. this morning. Let go of him, Tyler. Tyler, let go of his arms. Hey, you you putting dinner. Hey, and give me a big wave. Let me see the face. And where are we going now? And what kind of what kind of things are we going to see in the park? What are we going to see in the zoo? And what's your favorite and, animal? And there's snakes snake too. What? There's snakes too. How do the snakes go? Oh, the snakes. They sound like an ass. They sound like an ass, right. Yes. And what's your favorite animal, snakes? What do you like the best? What's your favorite animal? Do you like the penguins the best? The hippos. All right, let's see the hippos. Natty Zoo entrance, right here. That's where we're going to the zoo. Brother, wave high. Ready? By the time, if you don't mind, Karen, she's got to be back in. I, I didn't understand. I thought she had to be back in earlier. What? Like six. I wasn't sure because your mom did. Karen, you look tired. <laughs> yeah. You want to take a nap? We'll babysit for a while if you want. No, I was lying down. Oh, that's a good scene. Besides, Andrews is here. But Andrews is on the phone. How you doing, Sebby? giving me signals that it's going to wear out pretty soon, so... Because we're not really talking. Yeah, you can talk a little bit if you want. 
So where, where is this um, Western?